What's up everybody, it's August 11th, 2016. It's time for today's episode of Level Up, our daily video game news show where we bring you the latest and greatest stories from within the video game industry. And we're kicking off today with some new stats about the Gran Turismo series. We know that a new Gran Turismo, Gran Turismo Sport, is on the horizon for the PS4 and PlayStation VR at some point in 2017. But the extremely popular racing series has reached a new landmark sales record. Uh, most recently they revealed that the latest entry in the series, Gran Turismo 6, has exceeded 5 million sales, which is pretty good for a PS3 game, especially considering that this game was released after the PS4 had already come out, so it was very much a dying console at that point. And also more specifically, the entire franchise as a whole has now sold 77 million units. This is absolutely incredible for a single franchise to sell this many units. The only, the only series in the world that probably better this are the likes of your Call of Duties, your FIFAs, your Battlefields and your GTAs. I mean, in terms of racing, this is absolutely the top dog. The most successful in the series was Gran Turismo 3 a -Spec, selling almost 15 million units. And probably not surprisingly, the least popular was Gran Turismo 4 Prologue, if you remember that game. That only they still sold 1.4 million, which is pretty good. But if you remember, a lot of people were angry about that prologue when it came out because there was such a big gap between three and four. We had the uh, the concept series in between, and then the prologue, which was basically just a big demo, and then finally uh, Grand Turismo 4. Luckily, or gratefully, we see that even the PSP version, Grand Turismo PSP, did sell over four and a half million units. So, whatever you think about this racing franchise. It has definitely been one of Sony's most successful of all time. No doubt Gran Turismo Sport will sell really well when it comes out. I'm really excited to play that when it does come at some point next year. Really excited to see what it does in VR. But it looks like that it won't be too long before this franchise does go to exceed 100 million. Maybe a couple more releases and it will probably be there. Moving on and we're talking about what was supposed to be a PS4 game but maybe won't be for much longer and that is the game called Rhyme. This was coming from the studio Tequila Works. Now they recently confirmed that this game is still coming. If, you ha if you're not familiar with this game you'll be seeing a little trailer of it here. It drew similarities to Eco which is obviously from Team Eco way back in the day. Now makers of The Last Guardian and it seems like this game is almost in a similar development hell to what The Last Guardian has been in. Now this was only first revealed in 2013 so it's got a long way to catch up to uh, Last Guardian. This is only so far three years in the works but we do know that they parted way with their publishing partner Sony earlier this year and they did partner up with Grey Box and Six Foot which is two smaller game companies but obviously now that partnership with Sony has ended it kind of seems to be that maybe it won't be a PS4 exclusive any longer this game even if it does come out they're still saying but it should be coming at some point in 2017 and we'll have more details earlier in the in the year Microsoft's Xbox head Phil Spencer did admit that uh, he did pass up the opportunity to fund this game at one point and he did call it as one of the mistakes that he's lived with so Obviously, if this game does ever come out, a lot of people are very excited for it. It'd be great to see it on Xbox, not just as an Xbox fan, but just as a gamer. You want these games on as many platforms as possible. But right now, we don't know too much more about the game. Other than that, it is still alive in some capacity. Other games we may be looking to see in the future. Bethesda, they've been talking about uh, potential games that they could be bringing back in the future. Uh, one of those was The Evil Within 2. Now, The Evil Within was an extremely successful game when it came out back in 2014. And lots of people kind of expected maybe Evil Within 2 to be revealed at E3 this year. But it didn't happen. Instead, the studio behind the game is now busy working on the reboot of the Prey franchise. But, Pete Hines at Bethesda has revealed that both The Evil Within and also Rage did well enough that these games could warrant sequels. Uh, he then goes on to say that personally he was a big fan of Rage and that he had a ton of fun playing it. Uh, but they have a lot of stuff in the pipeline right now, uh, so they'll have to wait and see. So Rage obviously came out quite a while ago now, back in 2013 I believe it was. So 
Oh no, sorry, 2011, even older. Uh, that was obviously from the famous id Software Studio, which are now busy working on the new Quake game. So I I have no doubt that we'll see an Evil Within at some point. Rage, maybe not quite so sure, and it depends where id are going with Doom and also Quake. But both good games, both would be good to see them at some point in the future. Another game, though, that we do know that Bethesda would definitely be working on is a new Elder Scrolls game, Elder Scrolls VI. The studio will be working on it at some point. Bethesda Game Studios, their flagship game developer. But it is not something that they are working on just yet. They said uh, it was confirmed by Bethesda very much so by Pete Hines again. But it is not in development right now. They simply said that they would make it eventually. We know it's going to come. Probably going to be a long time now. I mean, if it's not even in development, you're still talking minimum three years, maybe four years out. So this possibly could come at the end of this console cycle, but more more likely we'll see it around the PS5, Xbox, whatever comes after Scorpio Neo. At earliest you're talking 2019, but probably 2020. Moving on over to Xbox now, and a game that's a little bit closer, on, or much closer on the horizon, should I say, is Halo Wars 2. There was an opportunity to play a beta earlier this year after we saw more of it at E3. Uh, but it has been revealed by Creative Assembly that a second beta will be coming in the near future. So the game is currently scheduled for a February release. And they have clarified that this beta will be coming in early 2017. So you probably imagine about six weeks before, a month before, really just to stress test the servers. And in addition to it being on Xbox One, the same as it was back in June, this next beta will also be available for PC users as well, or Windows 10 more specifically. So that's something to look forward to, give you an opportunity to play it. More details will come of that in, in the future. Obviously, they're probably hard at work on it now for the next five months. But if you didn't get a chance to play the beta in the summer, you will have another chance before this game releases in February next year. And the final news item of today, also to do with Xbox and Xbox One, EA has announced that a brand new game will be coming to their EA Access Vault. This is going to be SSX, a game that was originally on 360 PS3. It has become compatible on Xbox One thanks to backwards compatibility. That happened back in May. But now, yes, this is going to be added to the vault. So fans of Extreme Sports will now be able to play this game for free. Absolutely fantastic game. Really recommend you check this out. Unfortunately, it doesn't look like we're going to be getting anything new from EA on the horizon. Criterion cancelled their Extreme Sports game earlier this year. But on the flip side, we do still have Ubisoft Steep to look forward to when it comes in December this year. But make sure you get on SSX if you haven't played it before. Absolutely fantastic game. So that's it for today's news. I hope you have enjoyed this video. Let me know down below what you think. Are you excited for the idea of an Evil Within 2 or Elder Scrolls 6? What do you make of the Gran Turismo franchise? Have you always been a fan of it? Have you supported it? And uh, yeah, let me know whether or not you will look forward to playing Halo Wars in the new year. But for now, make sure you come back tomorrow for a brand new episode of Level Up. But thank you very much for watching everyone. I will see you all next time.